welcome to my YouTube channel, Growing Lisa. That's me, and today in this video, I'm going to be doing an update video on little baby Oliver. And if you don't know who Oliver is, that is Leah's baby. Well, Leah's Leah's and Nick's baby, I should say, because takes two to tango. Um, anyways, yeah. So little baby Oliver was born on five seven twenty twenty. So that was about four days ago, and it was also at 10.40 p.m. at night. And so yeah, he's about four days old now, and he is already getting so much bigger. Well, bigger than he was the first day. And basically, I just wanted to give an update video on how it went, my experience being there for my sister, and also now that we are back at the house. So she ended up getting induced on the 6th early in the morning and I ended up going there later on to go see her because I was actually allowed to go into the room. So because of the whole COVID thing and the pandemic going on right now, they were only allowing one person in the delivery room at all times at, or in, at the hospital at all times for the person. And as of Monday that day, they ended up changing it. That was probably like three days before um, she actually got induced where the law changed in Florida where two people were allowed to be in the room. So I got extremely lucky, honestly, that I was able to go and be there with my sister. It was a beautiful moment and I'm very grateful for that. But yeah, so she got induced on the 6th and I ended up staying there for a while. I was there at the hospital hospital it took so long for her to get dilated probably like 24 hours for her to get dilated so on the 7th is when she ended up giving birth of course and that was later on at night but she was actually tr pushing for two hours straight so I don't know how normal that is because I've never been around pregnant people I've never been around babies before really so I'm new to this so that which makes it even more exciting being new to all of this but yeah I don't really know um, if that's normal or not but just waiting for her to actually be able to start pushing and to get dilated took a very long time at least in my opinion because i'm not used to it eventually she ended up giving birth to little baby oliver and it was such a beautiful and awesome moment and i was very lucky to be able to spend it with her so me and leah are very close sisters and because of that it was really awesome being able to be there and be there for her and with her and honestly, being there, I was able to help out a lot because I stayed, even after she gave birth, I ended up staying. Although I would come home for a few hours, I ended up going back up there. That way I could help because both Nick and her had no sleep whatsoever, obviously, because, you know, of the situation. Since I was there, I was able to help Nick get some sleep. So whenever he was sleeping, I was awake helping with the baby and I would sleep for a little bit and then he would be up. And Leah kind of just, you know, had to stay awake the entire time, which, not the entire time, but she was awake majority of the time. Um, yeah, so I ended up helping out a lot, but yeah, it was just an awesome and a beautiful experience being there for and with my sister. And being able to see Ollie right as he came out, it was just an awesome experience being able to hear his first cries. So it was basically about two days later that Leah was allowed to come home and it was an awesome experience. It was my first time my mom and my dad got to see Ollie. My mom has been wanting grandchildren for such a long time so she was so happy and excited that she finally got to see Oliver. She had seen pictures of course from the hospital but she hadn't seen him in person so it was just an even more awesome experience that she was able to see him for the first time and then of course our friends were able to come and see Ollie as well. So because Ollie was born on 5-7-2020 he was actually born three days before Mother's Day so Leah got to experience her first Mother's Day ever and that was a pretty awesome experience as well. It was awesome that she got to spend the day with Oliver on Mother's Day in person of course not just him being in her belly but so far it has been an awesome experience. And you guys, I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. And I also want to say that I appreciate all the support that I've been given on my YouTube channel. All the comments and likes. I really appreciate it. I know I'm a small channel. But no matter what, I appreciate it so much. And I'm really, really glad that I have the opportunity to be able to film and upload videos to YouTube. 
because like I've said in past videos, it's something I've been wanting to do for a long time. I want to be able to create content that I can look back on and enjoy or people can get some type of inspiration from my videos, whether it's food related or it's self love related. So I really hope you guys have enjoyed this little update video about Oliver and Leah. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for any support. I hope you guys have an awesome, beautiful day. And bye-bye. <laughs>